All right. Hi, everyone. Uh, my name is Lee Paul, and I am the current secretary of XORC. Uh, this is going to be a presentation about uh, where the XORC Foundation is at and uh, what's new. But first, uh, huge thanks to Code Weavers for hosting this conference, and a special thanks to everyone who helped to run this year's XTC. Without your help, we definitely wouldn't be here, so it's greatly appreciated. Thank you. So on the topic of sponsors, we had about 11 sponsors this year. Uh, four travel grants were provided to students. Uh, thanks, Emma, for doing all of the invoicing. And thank you, Daniel Vetter, for doing all of the sponsor hunting. We had about 30 accepted talks. Um, we had 26 full slot talks received, eight half slot talks received, four lightning talks, and one workshop. Uh, so a big thanks to everyone on the papers committee who helped to do all the paper reviewing for that. And so XDC 2023, uh, where is it going to be? We're not quite sure yet. Um, you're welcome to submit an RFP if you'd like to help host XDC 2023. Um, we're looking primarily for places in Europe, but, uh, you know, uh, if you want to host it all, I would definitely recommend putting in an RFP because we might be able to fit you in for the next year. Um, and of course, it is, as you could tell, since we're here physically, it's very unlikely to be virtual this year. So XORG free desktop infrastructure updates. Uh, not a whole ton going on here. Things have mostly stabilized. Uh, we definitely could still use new volunteers. Um, and yeah, things tend to be working pretty well overall there. Uh, so of course, the free desktop code of conduct transparency report. Excluding spam bots this year, we had one complaint of recurring behavior resulting in a ban and two formal complaints just resolved with warnings. We did get a lot of spam bots though, so we did have to put a little bit of effort into figuring out some extra ways to mitigate that. But uh, so far we seem to be doing a pretty good job of that. So uh, GSOC, uh, EVOC, and Outreachy, uh, we're back in Google Summer of Code finally. Um, for those who aren't aware, last year we kind of had to drop out of it because of some of the project limitations, which weren't really great for a lot of the uh, projects that we would have students working on since there wasn't really enough time given. Um, this year we both were able to find new volunteers to actually help out with running it, which we were also having trouble with. Um, and Google also changed a lot of the rules around how that works so that now we have two classifications for short projects and for long projects, which works perfectly fine for us. Uh, so as a result, we were able to get free students in and every single one passed and was able to attend this conference. So congratulations to the students who passed and uh, thanks for coming to our community. And a big thank you to the people who really helped to step up and make this possible, uh, Trevor Warner and Rodrigo. I don't want to mispronounce your last name, so I'm just going to leave it at that. Um, so uh, outreachy, uh, this is the one thing we'd like to get back involved in or get involved in again, but we uh, both haven't really had that many volunteers. Um, but yeah, if you would uh, be interested in doing this and you have any projects that you'd like people to work on, uh, feel free to contact me or anyone on the board. So uh, this next Brett slide, I embarrassingly forgot to type. So, but luckily I know most of this off the top of my head. Um, we're currently looking at having the Software Freedom Conservancy be the new parent organization. Um, as XORG has been growing bigger, the needs of XORG have also been increasing and it's getting to a point where uh, we kind of want to have a larger f uh, foundation be able to help support us and be able to also help with uh, various organizational tasks that we have up until now been doing ourselves um, and yeah uh, of course none of this is finalized yet um, all of this is going to be going through a public member vote before we make any final decisions on anything um, but yeah uh, we're hoping to get a lot out of this and we're hoping to help get a lot of uh, possibly infrastructure help we don't really know what's gonna happen with that yet but uh, yeah so that just leaves the foundation. You can be a member. If you're in this room, you probably are able to be a member. Uh, there's lots of benefits to members. You can be, you can vote, uh, you get bragging rights. You'll be the cool kid in the room who can say, I'm an XORG member. 
um, you get access to specifications, such as the DisplayPort specification and many other specifications available through VESA. Um, we also offer Kronos Conformance. We've helped a number of drivers actually get certified by Kronos, and we have an agreement set up with them to help make that easier for everyone. And of course, as I said, all the cool kids are doing it. Don't be the odd one left out. And any, oh yeah, of course, anyone who qualifies is probably in this room. So uh, you can go to members.x.org and sign up. So do we have any questions? Uh, could you repeat that last part? So, like, we have access to that page that we can do, like, performance with Kronos and stuff, and, like, is that also, are there already tasks from how to move that over? Is that likely going to be a giant mess to get the, get those agreements agreed so on this, like, a new current organization? So, of course, uh, we still have to have the lawyers actually Pardon? Oh, yes. Um, so the question was uh, regarding the specification access and the Kronos conformance, whether or not there'd be any issues with us moving that over to uh, SFC. So, I mean, for us, that's a pretty big deal breaker. Um, as far as we can tell so far, we still have to have a lawyer actually look at it. But so far, there's not really any concerning signs that that's going to be an issue. So it should be pretty much good, but we will figure out in the future. We are pretty optimistic about this, though. All right. Uh, I guess that's it. Uh, thanks for having me, everyone.